Good day everyone. This is Mrs. Jezebel P. Aguilar from Speaker Reunion Perez National Agricultural School and I will be your teacher for today. Under the Senior High School Applied Subject, Disciplines and Ideas in the Social Science for Grade 11 Humes, we will discuss the first topic which is all about Social Sciences versus Natural Sciences and Humanities. Are you all excited? Let's get started! Our most essential learning competency is to differentiate the nature and functions of social science disciplines with the natural sciences and humanities. The specific objectives are the following. First is to differentiate the meaning of social science, natural science, and humanities. Second is to compare and contrast the two branches of sciences, natural and social sciences. And lastly, is to appreciate the importance of social sciences in our day-to-day -day basis. Let's start by defining the concept of science. According to Collins, it is the systematic study of the nature and behavior of the material and physical universe, based on observation, experiment, and measurement and the formulation of laws to describe these facts in general terms. Science has two classifications. We have natural science and the social science. Now, what is natural science? It involves comprehension, description, and prediction of natural phenomena using empirical and observational evidence. Study these pictures. What do you think are these? Well, they represent the two divisions of natural science. What do you think are these groups of pictures? And the other group? Well then, the first one focuses on life science and the other one talks about physical science. If we say biological science or life science, it is concerned with the living organisms. Examples are animals, plants, humans, and all other living organisms that can reproduce. While physical science is concerned with the physical world, phenomena like gravity, eclipse, and revolution. Let's proceed to the definition of social sciences. These are body of knowledge or disciplines that deals with the social cultural aspects of human behavior in the society. It also attempts to explain and describe human behavior in a society and subjects that relate to the foundation and growth of human society. They also involve studying the society and many ways people behave and affect the world they live in. Let us proceed to the understanding of the nature of the social sciences. First, a unique combination of various disciplines. These disciplines include anthropology, economics, psychology, sociology, linguistics, political science, demography, geography, and history. They have distinct functions in dealing with societal problems. Second, a study of human relationships. It attempts to explain how individuals relate to one another and how society as a whole. Third, a study of man's development through ages. Fourth, a realistic course of study. By means of utilizing various research methods and techniques, social scientists will take us to understanding the reality into our everyday lives. Fifth, it forms part of the core curriculum and lastly aims at preparing the learner for wholesome social living. Now, 
let's have the broad functions of the social sciences. Social sciences plays a very significant role in dealing with the complexities of human behavior in the society as it relates with natural sciences in addressing social problems. Social sciences provides necessary perspective and methodologies tools in order for us to understand the realities around us that they are more often than not hidden from the normal understanding of the world around us. And now we have the nine disciplines. First, anthropology. It is derived from the word anthropos meaning human being. It is the study of human evolution and everything human related. Second, economics. It deals with the allocation of resources to the people in the society, the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. Third, geography. It is derived from the word geo means earth. It studies the planetary whereabouts of earth, whether continents, countries, cities, or location sites. Next, history. It is the study of events and the society of the past whether civilizations, world wars, or presidential members. Here comes fifth, linguistics. It is the study of the use of language in society, just like poems, speeches, books, languages, and narratives. Sixth is political science. It is the study of government systems to maintain and arrange a society. It includes state, politics, law and ideology and power. 7. Psychology. It is the in-depth study of the human being that involves critical and analytical analysis, whether soul, mind, behavior, personality, or emotions. 8. Sociology. It is the study of social systems and human group behavior and interaction, whether religion, ethnicity, gender, or stereotypes. And lastly, demography. It is the statistical study of the human population, like birth rates, unemployment rate, and human population. The similarities of the nine disciplines is that they have the responsibility on the different aspects of social existence that provides different outcomes on different roles that complete the understanding of the society. Lastly, let's differentiate social sciences versus humanities. In the Hume strand, they are combined, but there is distinction between the two. Let's see the focus of each one. In social sciences, it attempts to see human beings in the mass, meaning collection of persons sharing some cultures and traditions of the same society or community as subjects for generalizations their behavior being a fit subject for prediction. While in humanities, it is more concerned on the individual, and especially with unique creations of the individual imagination, which we call works of art. Remember that we do not focus on the individual alone. We focus on the works of art of that particular individual. Next, let's differentiate the two in terms of their approaches. In social sciences, it utilizes scientific approach. It is the application of an empirical, rational, and objective methodology to present the facts. Therefore, social science is really a science. It is objective. We use objective methodology based on hypothesis, research, and conclusion. We use our empirical evidences to present facts. However, in humanities, it utilizes philosophical approach. It is the application of an interpretative methodology to render something meaningful for others. When we say interpretative, it is based on personal level. In terms of function, social sciences tries to analyze, explain, and possibly predict human behavior and to generate and produce new knowledge, or what we call factual information. This is made possible with the use of scientific method. However, in humanities, it is used to better appreciate the meaning and purpose of human and to reveal wisdom, to better explore and address the big questions.
and meet the challenges in the human condition. I hope that you'll learn a lot with our discussion. I'll see you in the next lesson.